Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back to let's play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time in the Nintendo 64. Last time, we explored Kakariko Village, which has a house full of spider people, a bunch of cuckoos running rampant, and the laziest construction workers ever. Other than that, it's a pretty nice town. I like it. Nice and sleepy. I, I think it's pretty cool. And for helping this lady, who's allergic to her chickens, uh, back, put them back in the pen, we got ourselves a shiny new bottle. Why she keeps the cuckoos if she's allergic to them, I have no idea, but whatever. Please don't tease my cuckoos. I would never, lady. Alright, so let's go ahead and pop you on the bottom slot real fast. We're going to grab something with our bottle here. Remember these bugs right here? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and grab some bugs. So let's go ahead and do that real fast. Let's just uh, swoop your bottle at them. You don't need a bug catching net or anything. There you go. You put a bug in a bottle, you can release it by pressing C. This kind of bug prefers to live in small holes in the ground. Okay, fair enough. Now, something great about bugs is if you drop them out, despite the fact that it says you have one, it'll drop multiple. So if you need a whole bunch of bugs, catch one, and then just release the release it over and over again, and you can just go ahead and recatch the other ones. You gotta be a little fast about it, but yeah, you can just go ahead and pretty much have infinite bugs that way. Or you can just find the one rock in town that has the bug that you need and just fill it up that way. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Anyways, we got a couple other things in Kakariko to explore, so let's go ahead and do those real fast. Uh, we're gonna take one of your chickens, lady. I mean, yeah, you're gonna be missing him again, but whatever. What does she say now that we take her chickens out? Hey, what are you doing? Now go round them up or pay, or pay for them. Or pay for them? Huh. I didn't know she actually said pay for them. Oh well. You'll get them back at some point. I mean, it's not like she's going to charge me like the rich dude from Wind Waker. That'd be kind of funny if she did, though. Anyways, let's see what's over here. Whee! And I... Oh, there we go. I was about to say, I messed up, but it worked out pretty well for us. Uh, let's go ahead and see what's in this hole right here. Ooh, it's a little shiny light pedestal. And, ooh, more butterflies. Can it... Will this happen this time? Okay, I think the butterfly here is... Not doing it. Okay. No, nah, it almost happened. Oh, well. It didn't happen again, so... Uh, come here. No? Nah, it's not happening. Uh, with, uh, with the holes, you step into the light pedestal and it lets you back out. That's great. But my thing with the stick didn't work out, so oh well. Anyways, we got... I think in... I think in that chest is just like five rupees or something. So I'm probably not going to open it until later just because I don't need the five rupees. It's not a heart piece or anything like that, that's for sure. You're not going to fall down, are you? But yeah, holes like this usually have, like, bugs or fish or something like that. So they're good to stock up on minor resources like that. Uh, but we don't need it yet. I mean, that is a pretty nice hole if you need a fish or some bugs, because they got multiple. And the chickens ran away again. Okay, we tried. Sorry, lady. Now, if we go up into this house right here, this is just the back of that shop we were in. And I don't think they're going to kick us out or anything, so we don't have to worry about that. But there's not really a whole lot to do back here. Who's there? What a bad kid trying to enter from the rear door. Such a bad kid. I have to tell you some juicy gossip. The boss carpenter has a son. He's the guy who sits under the tree every night. Don't tell the boss I told you that. Okay. Oh, that's the hole I was thinking of on the windmill last episode. Granny's Pilsha Shop. Closed. Gone for field study. Please come again. Granny. Okay, so we can't do anything else back here, so this was kind of a waste of time, but whatever. 
Anyways, let's go to the graveyard and see what that kid is doing over there. And also see if we can meet Dompe, the gravekeeper. What should I do? My cuckoos have all flown away. You, little boy, please. Please help me bring them back to the, this pen. And we don't get anything for doing it again, so... No? Sorry. I mean, you're cute, but I'm not that... I'm not that... Desperate. I mean, I don't know how she doesn't keep the damn things in there, but... That graveyard. Oh, look at the little kids stumping around. Heart pounding graveyard grave digging tour from 1800 hours to 2100 hours Hyrule time. Dope the gravekeeper. Okay, cool. And we got more bushes and rocks with spiders and stuff like that, but we don't need those just yet, so we're fine. R.I.P. Here lies the souls of those who swore fealty to the royal family of Hyrule. The Sheikah, guardians of the royal family and founders of Kakariko, watch over these spirits in their eternal slumber. Well, at least I got his nice big grave. What do we got here? Is this just like a gardening shack or something like that? Be quiet. It's only 1347. I, Dompe the Gravekeeper, am in bed now. Go away and play. Maybe you can find a ghost in the daytime. Okay, so this is where Dompe lives. He has a very small house. Kid, you're not very fast, are you? Little kids can't go on the heart-pounding grave-digging tour described on the sign. Since I can't do that, I'm just imitating Dompe the Gravekeeper all day. But with my cute face, I'm not heart-pounding at all, am I? No, not really. Alright. This is a good this is a good example to show you what we need the bugs for. You'll see these holes in the ground every once in a while. I think we've seen them a couple of places. You take a bug, and you drop it on the hole. Remember, the bugs like cool, dark places and soil, like stuff like that. So, eventually, one of them will dig into the hole. We got one of our bugs back. One of them fell into the hole there. And they'll pop out a gold scorchula for you. Nice. So, yeah, every time you see one of these, find a bug, drop it in the hole, you get a gold scorchula. Nice. So, now we have eight, which is awesome. Some of these particular gravestones, you can pull them back. Don't cause trouble. I'll tell Dompe. Maybe you can't do it until the nighttime. Okay, you have to wait till the nighttime then. Okay, fair enough. What about over here? Royal Composer Brothers, Sharp the Elder, R.I.P. Uh, how you doing? There is a ghost here. This is. Oh, the graveyard. If you stare at it with Z, if you stare at it with Z targeting, it will disappear. It doesn't seem to be disappearing that much, but okay. How you doing? You want to die there? Oh, you're dead. Almost. Or very close to it. You're running away. There you are. Did I kill you? I don't know if we can fully kill this thing or if it's just going to keep running away. I like, he has, I like how he has a little conductor's baton. Nice. There you go. You're dead. And for our efforts, we get a... Ah! You killed me. Unbelievable. Oh, what? You're not one of Ganondorf's men, are you? Because of my role as a ghost, I had to act like that. I apologize. Now then, let me introduce myself. <clears throat> I am one of the ghostly composer brothers of Kakariko Village. All the people in this village are born to serve the royal family of Hyrule. We brothers also serve the royal family and were assigned to study the hereditary mystic powers of the family. Though we never could figure out the power of the Triforce, we had almost completed our study of controlling time with the tones of ocarinas. Uh, I mean, actually, we did complete that study. We would have been famous if that hateful Ganondorf had not tried to steal our results. We could never let him reap the fruits of our research. That's why we gave our lives to protect the secret. Do you want to hear what I said again? No, I'm good. 
Okay, so they figured out how to control time with an ocarina. That's actually really cool. Uh, will you tell me stuff if I, uh... Royal Composers, Royal Composer Brothers, Flat the Younger, R.I.P. Okay, another one of the brothers. This guy has a mustache. I like it. Uh, you're gonna tell the same thing about C-targeting, right? Yeah, okay. Come on over there, buddy. Uh, I don't think you can actually hit him with the, uh... Slingshot that well. Oh, you can. Okay. Never mind. I wasn't sure if they were actually vulnerable to the slingshot or not. They are, and that made that real easy. Okay, cool. And we got ourselves another composer. Ah, I'm dead again. What? You again? Oh, it's the same thing. Somehow you remind me of Princess Zelda. Hmm, since you may have some connection with the royal family, I will tell you a little more of our tale. Back then, people called us great composers because of the many musical masterpieces we wrote. But we brothers were not just composers. We had a mission to analyze the mysterious powers of Hyrule's royal family. Our names would be a part of Hyrule's history if we could complete our research. We kept our study extremely secret until we completed it. T to tell the truth, each of us was studying a different song, one to summon the sun, and another to summon the moon. If you were really sent by a member of the royal family, I will tell you about the results of our, of our study. We inscribed it on the royal tombstone. As a messenger of the royal family, you should show your royal credentials on top of the Triforce mark. No, I don't want to hear it again. Okay, so let's see. We check this. Royal Family's Tomb. So, whenever you see a Triforce symbol and you gotta prove you're part of the Royal Family, you play Zelda's Lullaby. Uh, I think the princess and the king and the queen might be a bit mad that I destroyed their uh, grave. Oops. Uh, usually the results for playing Zelda's Lullaby are not going to be that violent, but I guess this is a special occasion. So, oh well. Ooh, look, we got a new enemy here. We got Keys. When you get close to it, use the targeting. Even if it flies away, you can still target it. So the best thing to do with Keys is to just whack him with your uh, slingshot here. Ooh, they drop parts. Nice. And yeah, there's several keys around here that we have to go ahead and kill in order to get further here. I don't even care about the money, because that's just something we don't even need. Let's see, I do care about the ammo. Alright, let's see if we can't find the rest of these. There should be a few more, like that guy right there. And... okay, there we go. Alright, so that opens that. Awesome. I don't think we have a way of lighting these torches at the moment, which is unfortunate. But if we ever do figure out a way to light the torches, we'll come back for it. This is a weird looking area here. Ah, my favorite enemies. Is there this damage? Yes, this damage is here. Okay, fair enough. These guys right here, they suck. They are Redeads or something similar. Let's see. They are. Yeah, Redeads. His gaze will paralyze you. If it bites you, tap any button to escape. So yeah, they'll paralyze you. And even if you whack them with your sword a bunch, they'll seem like they die, but then they just kind of get back up shortly afterwards. So they're very much not fully dead. And I hope that doesn't. The AC just kicked on, so I hope that doesn't make a huge noise here. Yeah, we'll see, I guess.
This poem, this poem is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. The rising sun will eventually set, a newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun, giving peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem. Huh? Something is inscribed on this tombstone. It's the secret melody of the Composer Brothers. Right down, up, right down, up. You've learned the sun song. Nice. We got ourselves a snazzy new song. Restless souls wonder where they don't belong. Bring them calm with a sun song. The sun song. Ooh, the sun song has multiple uses. It'll turn the day. It'll turn the day into night and vice versa. And then with these redads right here. If you play the uh, sun song near the redeads, they'll be frozen in place for a little while, and it's great because I mean you don't got to deal with them. Yeah, see, they're all frozen, and you don't have to you don't have to worry about them at all. It's fantastic. If you attack them, they become unfrozen. But you want to so you want to be careful about that. I think this guy will actually get up. I'm not entirely sure, but I think they I think he will. Oh, for some reason I thought they didn't die. Apparently, I was mistaken. I'm kind of curious if I can actually bring the the land the if I can actually go away. If I can actually bring the torch all the way over here, but it probably will just fizzle out when you get to the doorway. So I'm gonna try, but. I don't think it's feasible at the moment. Either that, or it'll just it, the stick will just melt by the time we get there. One of the two. If you if you pull out the ocarina, then they will. Yeah, okay. My my stick disappeared at some point right there. Go away. Do not let him grab you because if you let him grab you, it's not great. As we're gonna find out right now. Yeah, they. They, they get on you and just have their way with you, and it's not great, so, uh... You know what? That's actually a perfect time for us to chug a helping of Moo Moo Milk here. Or Lan Lan Milk, I'm sorry. I think I'm thinking Moo Moo, Moo, Moo Milk, because I was in Pokemon. Alright, let's get out of here, and... I don't, I don't think the bats respawn, so that's fine. But there we go, we got ourselves a snazzy new song that turns daytime into nighttime. And vice versa, so I like it. I think it's nighttime right now. Yeah, Dompe's out, so that means it's nighttime. Cool. Alright, so with Dompe here, you have the option to play a game. Kind of. Hey kid, don't mess around with the graves. I'm Dompe the Gravekeeper. My face may be scary, but I'm not a bad guy. Let me give you an advertisement for my side business. Dompe the Gravekeeper's heart-pounding graveyard grave digging tour. What's going to come out? What's going to come out? When I start digging, we'll find out. Do you want me to dig here? Ten rupees for one hole. Uh, sure. So, you tell him to dig somewhere. Nope, nothing here. So, he will dig. And you want to dig in the patches of dirt. Yeah, he'll dig. And... You might get something. I mean, you probably won't, but you might. So I want him to dig in these various spots until something comes out. Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and do that real fast. Why not? I was going to say we could go check out his house, but... We can wait till later for that. And I think with Dompe, if you screw with the graves, he doesn't care, actually. He says that he does, but I don't think he actually does. Yeah, he doesn't really care that much. The ghosts, on the other hand, might care. 
Alright, so dig right here. Hey, we got five rupees, or actually we got ten rupees, nice. Uh, Mr. Ghost, I need you to go away. So you're not always gonna get something good out of it, but you might get, you might get, uh, something out of it, at the very least. Okay, I don't want to target you, go ahead. There you go, you're dead. Oh, or not yet, okay, fair enough. There you go, are you dead now? Perfect. And she actually drops her soul. Uh, which is a kind of a weird thing. You can put in a bottle. You defeated Poe the Ghost. You want to catch it in a bottle? No, not right now. You let it go for now. But yeah, you can catch Poe souls in a bottle and get stuff out of it. And I missed my chance to dig out that hole right there. Oh well. Come on, Dompe. Let's go. Yeah, this, I think this is why the kid was walking so slow. He was emula emulating this guy. Just like I'm emulating the game. Alright, dig here. Nope, nothing there. Okay. Now, what I'm trying to get here is pure luck, so... It might take a few attempts of him actually trying for this to happen. There you go! That worked out really well. We get a heart piece out of it, which is the best reward possible. Nice. I'm more than happy to take another heart piece here. Okay, so let's go ahead and screw with the graves some more. Uh, some of these graves, they will have stuff underneath them. And we want to get that stuff. So, let's start with this one right here with the flowers in front of it. There you go. I think the ones with the flowers in front of it usually have something, have something under them. There is a treasure chest down here. This is probably just going to be go uh, money or something like that. Ooh, the Helion Shield. Nice. You got a Helion Shield. Switch to the equipment subscreen and select the shield and equip with A. So yeah, this is why you didn't want to actually buy the Helion Shield over in the over in the shop because you get one for free here. I mean, if you just feel like burning through your money, go for it, but this is easy. Uh, the only problem with the Helion Shield as a kid is it's too big for Link. So he kind of just turtles up with it. So it's good for stuff like falling on him and stuff like that. But it's not terribly great for uh, actual defense. I mean, they just don't make a kid size, I guess. Oh well. All right, so we got there. Let's check your house real fast. I want to see what's in there. I think that's. I think those are the main big finds here in the graveyard. Dumpy has got a tiny little house. Where does? Okay, where does this guy sleep? Like right here, I guess. The Gravekeeper's Diary is here. Do you want to read it? I mean, sure, why not? When I dug a hole, I found a treasure that stretches. Boing! And shrinks. Boing! It's so fun, I'll never get it. I'll never give it to anybody. Huh. Sounds like a pretty cool treasure. I don't know if we're ever going to find out what that treasure actually is, but it does seem pretty cool in my opinion. I like it. Well, we got the stuff pretty easily, so that worked out real nice. Uh, oh, there's another spider, but we can't do anything about it because it's up in the air. That's, that's unfortunate. Um, I forget if there's actually anything else here in these various graves. Oh, that was really lucky. I just randomly pulled that one, and that worked out pretty well for me. Oh, look, there's another redead. Um, I'm curious. If you hit him with a fire, does it do anything? Well, apparently not. Apparently not. Let's just kill this guy since he's, you know, being a pain. With all his health and stuff. Alright, what else we got here? I think there might be a couple bats in here, but I'm not entirely sure. No. Pretty sure there's something here, I'm just not sure what. Listen. Yes, I'm going to go away. I'm going to head up there eventually. I'm just trying to see what's in here. 
Maybe there's just nothing in here. Okay. That's fine. I think that's most of the stuff in the graveyard that I really care about. So let's go ahead and just get out of here then. We've already checked out Dompe's house and all that other good stuff. Uh, now that it's nighttime, I think there might be another spider or two in the village. Possibly. So we have eight right now, right? Yeah, we need two more before we get our first reward. Oh, I guess all the chickens go inside or something. Huh. Where do all the chickens go? You know, I have no idea. You said you had food for us, right? Oh, that's oh, that's your wife. Okay, fair enough. And there's one of the car. Oh, there's all the carpenters actually. Cool. Well, make yourself a home. The food isn't ready yet. That was the whole reason I came here, lady. That looks like she has a beard, but really, it's just really weird lips. Oh well. All right, we're not gonna go check out the spider house because that's in the middle of the night, and that just seems kind of weird. Let's see, now will the spider show up here? Yeah. Okay. I guess I guess some of these trees and spiders they don't show up until the night time for whatever reason. We got another gold skull chill. We're at number nine. It's very nice. Hello. People are disgusting. My own father and mother are disgusting. You must be disgusting too. Well, it's nice to meet you too, sir. Let's go see about the kid that's hanging out with Dompe during the day, see what he's up to. I think there might be another spider in here, possibly. No? Okay. Uh, there might be one on the wall around here. There's another one on a wall around here somewhere. I just gotta find the little bastard. There he is. Okay, cool. Got some parts out of that. I like it. And there we go. We got another gold sculpture. We have ten, so that means we should be able to go get a reward. But let's check out the rest of the houses real fast, see if there's anybody else in here that we care about, like in here. Oh, my boy is asleep right now. Please come back some other time to play with him. Okay. I guess we're just never going to talk to the, see the inside of that house. I'm not sure, but I think it's trying to thunder outside. Huh. Okay. Either that or some other weird noise. Where does this one lady live? I think she might I think she might live with this guy in this house. Oh, there's another spider. There you go. They're all over the place, aren't they? We're at 11. Awesome. I knew there was a couple in here. I just didn't remember exactly where they all were. I don't think it tells you on the world map or in towns like this if you got all the spiders. The thing saying that you keep all the... Um, the thing saying that you get the spider, the spider icon on the map, that's mainly for dungeons. Okay, so you are here. Where are your chickens? I want to bother your chickens. Please don't tease my cuckoos. I would never, lady. Heck, for one, I don't even know where I don't even know where they are right now. So, oh well. All right, let's go see what we get for lifting one of the spiders of the curse here. They said something about money, so they'll probably give me a whole bunch of rupees. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Hey, look at that! You're back to being a human instead of a horrible monstrosity. The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. Aha, we got the adult's wallet. Adults are allowed to carry a lot of money. Now you can hold up to 200 rupees. Nice. That means we're not going to fill out our bag quite as fast as before. I will still fill out our bag pretty fast, but now we have a bit more leeway in the matter. So that's really nice. Uh, oh, there's another one right there. I think we can get to that one with just... Uh, Mm 
with just a jump attack. I don't think it's too high for us to reach, so that's nice. Yeah, actually, we can just climb up here. Perfect. That didn't work. Okay. I tried to be fancy, and me being fancy just doesn't work out terribly well. Oh, well. Well, there we go. We got ourselves another gold sculpture token here. Awesome. You destroyed a gold sculpture, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I want to try to get up to that roof and talk to the person up there, but I forget how to do that, or if we can even do it right now. We might not be able to do it till way later in the game. Oh, well. But there we go. We have fully explored Kakariko Village, or if not fully, then close to fully. And next episode, we're going to go ahead and... We're either going to get the mask for the guard, or we're going to head up Death Mountain and see what's going on over there. Or we might go take some bugs and go find some holes in the ground and collect sculptures. Or we might do a combination of the three. So guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night. And if the uh, AC is too loud, then I'll fix it next episode so it's not so loud. So, we'll see you.